All right, how's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another crew video on the channel. And I just want to take the time real quick before this video to apologize for the lack of videos on the channel lately. I was able to upload an NHL video, which is uh, what I was doing before I started uploading the crew, and uh, that went up, so if you haven't seen it, go check it out. You might like it out a bit, a little bit. But recently, I have been having a lot of time where I just don't have the time to go and record videos and upload them to YouTube. Now, with that being said, I am going to start uh, to budget my time a little bit better, definitely get back into this, bring you guys more content on the games that you guys enjoy, um, on the games on the channel here at least, which is the crew on NHL 15. So hopefully you're looking forward to that. Anyways, today we have some patch notes, some patch news on the new patch for the game that comes out February 12th. So you guys are probably going to be seeing this on February 6th. So uh, in uh, six days or so, so next week, you guys can expect to see this patch out. So basically what is going to be in this patch is you're going to see some new content. So there's going to be a new PvP mode for you uh, PvP players out there. The new PvP mode is an elimination race with 10 new tracks available. So that is very cool. And for all you non-PvP players out there or the PvP players who enjoy faction missions, there's four new faction missions which will be released to the patch on Thursday, February 12th. Now it's going to go ahead and fix things and updates just like how we expect every patch to do so. And so in the online section, the quick co-op feature has been improved and several bugs related to joining sessions have been fixed. The PvP lobby improvements, they've made improvements to the PvP lobby, which is enabling the browsing of players after selecting cars. And they're improving PvP session by matchmaking should now allow players to find more players quicker, which is good because um, the matchmaking is always slow in this game. It always has been, always will be. Um, so definitely nice to see that they're going to add some attention to that. Now for all you people out there that are crazy on stacks, they fixed the issue that was causing statistics to display incorrect data and or simply reset data. Uh, previous data would not be restored, so that kind of sucks if you had some high stats, but the new stats should not be lost anymore. Next up is awards, so it's going to fix an issue that is related to unlocking and tracking the progress of certain awards. Sometimes it wouldn't unlock, sometimes it wouldn't track it. Uh, this is going to fix that, so um, everybody who's going for awards, definitely going to be able to get those um, when you deserve them now. Also with challenges, it's going to fix an issue related to progression on challenges, which is also nice because... Everybody hates spending time for something that you don't get credit for. Now the frame rate is definitely something cool and uh, not something I've seen done in patches by a lot of games, but they're going to improve the frame rate in the cockpit view. Now I don't know about you, but I don't really drive around in that too much, but it'll definitely be nice to have the improved frame rate so everything seems more smoother. They're going to fix an issue with the UIs when applying certain parts. I don't really know what that means, but... Uh, Whatever, that's cool, I guess. Nice for fixing the UI, I guess. They're fixing an issue with friends related to the friends' presence in the game, and their status will be set to online when they offline when they quit the game, uh, which is definitely something that uh, is kind of nice. I've had it before. I've been playing a game with a friend. They lag out, and it says they go offline. I don't know if they're still online or not. Uh, this is definitely going to be nice to see. That uh, It's not going to tell me that they're going offline. It's going to keep them online for me, so definitely a nice add. Now, the big section, as always, with patch updates are the cars and what they're improving and tweaking with the cars. So they're going to improve and tweak several cars handling and speed, which is awesome because, let's be honest, there's a lot of cars in this game who don't handle well and don't have really good speed well or handle too well and have way more speed than they should. The Bentley Continental GT was a great example of that when that thing could just go and go and go in reverse for, I, I you know, as fast as it wanted to. But they are fixing the buggy's grip and it's been improved in order for it to be able to climb the hills as of the raid cars, if you guys haven't used it uh, all too much in the game, it was really crappy for climbing hills, which really didn't make a lot of sense because it was a car that was built to just climb and jump shit and do a bunch of stuff like that, and it didn't work at all. So it's nice to see they're fixing that. They're also fixing a bug where some cars were able to reach maximum off-road top speeds in reverse gear, like I was talking about. So uh, the Bentley Continental, the Cadillac Escalade, the Aberath 500, the Alfa Romero 4C, and the Hummer H1 Alpha. The Mini Cooper S in circuit spec will be toned down the Nitro and grip. So I don't know if you guys use the Mini Cooper Street, but the Nitro was insane and the grip on the car, it just didn't move on the road. So that'll be nice to see that they're going to make that more realistic. And the Lamborghini Murcielago in Serpic spec will also have the grip slightly improved when using nitrous. And if you guys haven't used this car, this car was like a sled on black ice when you use nitrous. It just absolutely whipped. So it'll be nice to see them slightly improving the grip a little bit. For all you offline gamers, missions will definitely be increased. AI's behavior in some of the missions will be improved, and the AI police car behavior in chase missions 
has been improved. So this is a huge one. So I don't know if you guys played the game when it first came out, but the cops were insane. Basically, you couldn't outrun them. They would just do everything. You'd be doing something for 15 minutes. It was stupid. They're going to take it so that way the opponent cars are now less aggressive and they try to follow more people instead of taking them out. Definitely over, de over needed and definitely a welcome change. Now in the gameplay section, they're applying modifications to the friction on side barriers in order to avoid the wall riding exploit. Now I don't know if you guys ever did anything online with PvP. Some people just went straight into the walls, wouldn't slow down, and they just wouldn't, like it was stupid. They just went into the walls and just hit the corner and came off and they were just at the same speed that they were, they just took a little bit of a hit from hitting in the corner. It was stupid, so definitely nice to see that. So there's a lot of changes in this patch which is going to be really cool definitely going to change up the game a little bit so let me know what you guys are most excited for in this patch uh definitely you guys are going to want to expect a dlc when that comes out so this month's dlc uh don't know when it's going to come out don't know when they're going to release it but that will be going up uh, on the channel a review the day it comes out so that's definitely something to be looking forward to i'm going to try my best to keep up with these a lot more than what i have been bring you guys car builds bring you guys drift builds do all the stuff with you guys in the game like i said i have before I am apologizing, and I hope you guys can forgive me for that. But other than that, this has been the update. Let me know what you guys are most excited for for the update, and I'll talk to you guys next time.